How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of pry up in this piece in the form of their Gimme Some Mo. This be a hazy pale ale. Um, coming through full steam, it says. What you're holding is a glowing orange-hued American pale ale featuring a quartet of all-star hops from the Pacific Northwest. We find uh, this crusher to be uh, sopping with notes of overripe tropical fruits and a melange of citrus on top of exceptionally soft mouthfeel. In short, a pale ale exactly as you'd expect for I to do it. When life keeps you throwing your punches, give me some mo. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Give me some mo. I mean, I just want to think of Tribe Called Quest, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, let's see, 5.4%. So this is by far and away the lowest hazy um, they've sent me. I mean, technically, they sent me a wit beer, which would be a hazy. But most of the stuff has been IPA level, double IPA level, IPA level stuff like that. They have sent some lagers and things of that sort. But um, it's definitely the lowest ABV hazy, so pumped to give it some whirl. Um, yeah, it reminds me of some like creepy little kind of uh, funhouse little old dude. Old dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, so there you go. I'm sure I'm missing some kind of reference to something because that's what I do when it comes to beer. And, uh, yeah, it looks like a quadruple. I mean, it's super dense, thick, turbid. That's almost turkey gravy level. Density, pinky finger, infinite creaminess, super tight compact bubbles. I mean, she looks like a much, much bigger beer. It's got a nose. And she smells like a much bigger beer. She's hitting all that notes dominated in that citrus realm um, with your pineapple, grapefruit, and uh, regular kind of orange kind of citrus. Dip into that stone for a big kind of peachy kind of sharpness. I'm not necessarily going to sit here and talk about peach as a sharp kind of kind of um, uh, flavor when it comes to hops and how they present. But for some reason, it's got this kind of freshness about it. It's under ripened kind of peach, and it's all at the same time retaining some sweetness. And then a soft kind of star fruity kiwi kind of tropical fruit thing going on. Really running a gamut with this soft little green on the under end of things with a little bit of weed pulling. Not weed smoke and weed pulling kind of greeniness on the edge of it. This smells like a 7% hazy, not a 5%. Just dive in. Cheers. Yeah. I mean, it definitely takes a step back. It's not 7%, but it's definitely in that 6% realm as far as perception goes. And it really does have that kind of vibrant orange getting into that peach, getting that tropical fruit. The biggest difference here is that bittering is kind of ramped up and it finishes a little bit dry, which is super welcome, especially when you're dealing with these lower ABV kind of beers. It is sweet, so I'm not saying it's like super dry, but it finishes dry. Is that super sultry, fantastical mouthfeel that they promise on a can and actually delivers. This is a really huge... 5.4% hazy. I mean, this is just rich and turbid and soft and creamy and fluffy and all the good words um, in a very, very drinkable way, being impactful enough to make you think there's no way this is 5.4%, but at the same time being drinkable enough to where you want to go back for more. So it's pulling off that cool kind of double, double edged sword thing where it's very impactful at the same time it's very drinkable. I mean, that dryness at the end, that lingering bitterness kind of lends itself to being a little bit more drinkable. But this is fun. I like this. As a low ABV, like super hazy, because there's some low ABV beers that are juicy and fruit forward and all those kind of things. But this has a decent amount of bitterness and this real kind of heftiness to it while staying at a lower ABV beer that you can drink. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't suck. Let's talk about it. Is this one of the better low ABV hazies I've had as of late? Yes. Kind of got to be Mount Rushmore status, to be perfectly honest with you. There might be a couple that really do me a little bit better than this. I think from more of a balance standpoint, because if I'm going to knock this beer for anything, it's actually just a skosh, a skosh undersweet, and I mean a hair, but it's still worthy of me to Mount Rushmore status. It's just the third head or the fourth head on the mountain, as opposed to the first or second head, but really... Casey's up. Listen, I'm nitpicking here. It's fantastic. Value and availability. It's Pariah, San Diego. Brewery only, I assume. Well, during COVID times, who knows? And leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like big old hazies and small little packages done really, really well, this is going to do you all the kinds of the proppers. So there you go. A little Pariah in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it. Massive beers, if you want to check me out in the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out in the whole podcast thing. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully, you're enjoying a little Pariah right now. We'll see you next time. Cheers.